case scenario, the batteries go dead, and I, I'm going to scream out a pause. And then everyone just freeze where you are. I change batteries. You just put freshies in, didn't you? Yeah, but these are Kodak batteries. These aren't the best. Kodak right, batteries. Dude. These things are lighter than paper. Yeah. <laughs> I got right. some Duracells yeah, yeah. on. We're in, we're in, we're in. Oh, we've started? We started with the whole battery bit, that whole battery bit I just did. Did I say anything terrible since we've started? No, you hadn't said anything. I was just talking about the batteries. All right. Welcome to episode 36 of the Rad <sighs> Dude 36? Yeah, 36 man. episodes. 36. Man. We are what are you, uh, uh, her, 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 yeah, her. I was going to say, I like the first 34 episodes better because you bark like a dog when I said that. And now you've slapped. <coughs> also, I've never heard Anthony <coughs> bark outside or before this podcast. That's a sad dog. I do a sad dog when I get yelled at for not barking. I've I done that before. I don't think anyone's picked up on it. I have. Oh. I've picked up on everything. I betcha. Uh, we're here. We've uh, moved to Anthony's bedroom for tonight's recording. Greg is now taking off his headphones and leaving the room. Uh, so we're good. You're out uh, of here. If I can... If I can Get through the business here. Uh, uh, again, we love that you're listening. We hey, love Greg. your feedback. Oh. Yeah, don't yell in your mic. You don't need to. <laughs> That's fine. I don't know why you're doing that. Uh, sorry. You want to do the business first? No. Well, I guess I've interrupted now. I'm going to. Can, can I? Can you get waters for all of us? I'll get one Thank you. Go ahead, Brendan. I apologize. Uh, no, that's fine. Um, we love that you listen to us. Uh, we're getting some great feedback. Um, Please follow us on Twitter at the Rad Dudecast. You can talk to us there. We'll tell you when the new episodes are coming out. You can ask us questions. Um, again, we assume you're getting the podcast through iTunes. Do us a favor. If you listen, if you like it, throw it up on your Facebook. Share it with some friends. We're really trying to grow this thing organically. We don't have a lot of uh, adver- our advertising budget is kind of maxed out at two million dollars. Uh, Get off your phone and off the bed. Uh, I'm so trying to see about our advertising budget. Yeah, we only have we and only have. Ooh. Man, Wait, yeah, don't cool. talk about the treats off the mic. This is Schweppes. No, although this is a good treat. I Schweppes. got everybody treats. This you got everybody Schweppes. Now I'm not quite by done. Schweppes. Yep. Get swept away yeah. by Schweppes ginger ale. <laughs> That's good. Do Thanks. Lemon, do you do lemon lime? Do you do lemon lime? Sure. Now, which like everyone? Which everyone uh, you want? I don't like lemon. If lime. I can just finish, <laughs> okay. So thanks. I drink the raspberry. If I can one. just finish here, um, <laughs> you didn't finish. How it's gone for hours? Well, that's another thing. Wait, wait, wait. Schweppes. It's poured all over my shirt. That, that was... is good. That's good. This is Schweppes. And the thing here's why we have trouble with our advertising budget Ooh. is because we do these things for Schweppes. We'll do it for toaster strudel, whatever, and they don't give us any money. In fact, usually we get sued. <laughs> When we do this. So we're oh, doing this Schweppes yeah. advertisement at a loss of $400,000 to ourselves. Uh, but that's how much we love oh, the product. The product uh, is success. But one. real yeah. quick, please uh, go on to iTunes. Rate it. Did I already say this? Rate Schweppes. it. Oh, uh, uh, rate give it. it a review. Subscribe All it. of that. Now, if I could just set the scene here. Anthony's, uh, we've got a nice one today because no one is wearing hard pants. I've got my Fila mm. sweatpants on. You don't get a lot of Fila these days. Anthony's got his classic black sweatpants and his Hawaii Wind sweatshirt, N- his like nice that. teal Hawaii sweatshirt. And Greg's got a classic look, which is shorts over long johns. Uh, Anthony made the astute observation that where were you coming from? An intramural football game, uh, which I found to be hilarious. But, yeah, nobody's got hard pants on, so it should be a, a loose, uh, laid-back atmosphere. Yeah. Loosey, goosey, lemon I juicy. I would suggest if you're listening at home, put on your soft pants. Put on your soft pants. Put on the softies, man. You know what they say about pants. They're like dicks. Better soft. <laughs> better, I say put a splint on them. They're like dicks. Listen. Better, better flaccid. <laughs> no questions asked, guys. I got a beef. And let me tell you this. Can we start this? Are we done with the business? I'm in. Let me tell you this. I got a big fight with this guy. I'm a, I got a, I got, we got public enemy number one, and I need you guys to help me out. I need Brendan, you to be the judge. Anthony, you're my prosecutor. Okay. Because we got to take this guy down. And we're going to. I have to interrupt, and I hate to do it. Mm -hmm. I thought you gave me a Schweppes ginger ale. I took a sip. It's a club soda. Seltzy. It's a seltzer. It's delicious. better for you. But my mind is a little jilted. You know what I mean? You're expecting one thing. You get another. Anyway, there was no need for me to interrupt you to say that. I got to drink this now. I got to tell you this, something, a new development. I got pressure. Did you know that? I got the pressure. What kind I of got pressure? high blood pressure. Really? Yeah, I went to CVS. My blood pressure was through the roof. So now I'm, well, the first time I did it, I did it three times. Third time, I'm just pre, I'm pre high blood pressure. So now I'm all, I'm not eating, I'm eat, not eating anymore. So I'm not eating anything. Nothing? Well, maybe I'll have a piece of lettuce. I don't know. I got blood pressure. So I'm not fucking, I'm not going to die. I'm not dying on you guys. All right, well, do we, podcast. I don't want you to die, and I would recommend not eating. Yeah, you know, scared. I did that. Truth I did that whole week without yesterday. eating. You're gonna be all right. 
My brother's on the high blood pressure. Colin, not Lynx, is on the high... high. Uh, what does he do? Does he take pills? Yeah, he took pills, but they made him dizzy for a while. Then I think he got straightened out. I don't know. I'm Colin, doing it diet Colin. and exercise only. I've been hitting the gym like crazy. Well, I haven't hit the gym what since I've been doing the blood pressure thing, but... You went to CVS? I went to CVS. I had a blood pressure thing. I said, for the fun of it, let's try it. Let's see what my pressure is. I put my arm in. It said 149 over 80. Regular is under 120. Oh, no, 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 no. Here, you've got to go to a doc. Those well, things are all over the board. It depends on when you eat, all sorts of shit. Well, I did it three times. The second time I did it, it said 136, and the third time, 131 over 80. But that's still pre. But that was all right in a row? Yeah, yeah because it could be different on when you eat, all that shit. Go to a well, doc. Well, the first no. one, I was nervous. They don't have doctor money. Do they test your blood pressure? That's when they do that arm yeah, yeah. thing with yeah. that little cold thing on your bicep. It kind of yeah. hurts and makes your arm tingle. Yeah. Go to Socrates. Yeah, what does he do? Socrates, 50 bucks, man. He'll do that for 50 you. 50 bananas? Yeah. Socrates is real cheap. I'll go see him. Well, yeah. our best friend Mike is my doctor, but he refuses oh, yeah. to be my doctor. Well, just, that is easy. That's an easy one to read. Because that you just do... You yeah. can get Mike to do that, I'm pretty sure. I should. I'm mean, I got to drive up to Rhode Island, wherever the hell he's living, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, there. Yeah. And I'll bring the equipment. I'll bring a bunch of doctor stuff and say, here, you got to be my doctor. Yeah. I met Mike and his wife at a gig. She, what a fantastic guy. Oh, yeah. Terrible doctors. Now, let me tell you this. I run, a trick, I run a trick at the doc that I learned from you, because you taught me that one of the utmost... Greg, you taught me that one of the most important things to, in life is to have supreme control of your body at all times. Sure. So I'll do a thing where they start running the blood pressure machine, I shut it all down. I stop my heart. Good. Stop all the all they circulation. Say you got no pressure. They think I'm dead. So I'll just say, I'll just use my mind to shut things down for a minute, two minutes, freak them the fuck out. I love that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, now you got this beef cooking. Yeah, let me tell you what happened. Get I'm, into this. First off, I'm just walking around. I see our friend, Jay Welch. He's a, for you at home, he's a guy. He's a person. He's a comedian. Comedian. Great comedian. One of the nicest guys in New York, I think, but let's see Not what you have to say about the Not the nicest, because I walk and I see him, I go crazy. I start screaming. I go, Jay! Jay Welch! Mm -hmm. He ignores me, and then I yell his name. He gives me the finger and rides on. Ooh. So I was thinking, let's call him. He was he's a lawyer. City bike? He's a, he is a lawyer, so I need you guys to be my, I need you to be my prosecution and judge. We're putting this guy on blast. Yes. Can I be the judge? I well, the be the sign judge. of any. Well, I wanted you to be my. I wanted you to be my guy who you know you defend me. Like, the sign of any. Well, you you're said my lawyer. one person is a prosecution, one person is a judge. See, He's I a took judge. it you're as gonna... one in the same. I thought he was saying like any good court, the prosecutor and the judge be the same. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Brendan That's is fun. the judge because he's going to be the one who deciphers whether or not I'm right or wrong. Okay. You're going to be my lawyer. You're going to okay. Oh, that's gonna, fun. You're, you're the why did you want me to be the lawyer over the judge? Because here's, I'll tell you why. I can tell you right now, and mm -hmm. don't take anything personal. Brendan, real level-headed guy. Mm -hmm. You're a wild card. I want my really? judge to be a wild I'm card. Wrong. Yeah, I want a guy. Okay, that's you're gonna pull funny some stuff. that you would say that because I <laughs> I, I read the total opposite. The total opposite. I think the total opposite. No, 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 no. All right, yeah. I think when it comes to Facts and judgment and knowledge, you reign true, Brendan. But when it comes to, hmm, now you know that if I think about it, it does go well. It goes both ways for both of you. Because if I think about facts, Anthony's also pretty good. And if I'm looking to get someone stabbed without knowing, I think I also go to Brendan. All right, so random picks. You guys be whatever you want to be. I think we should both be both. You would both be judges. Well, maybe I'd be the defendant. You can defend. No, Jay's Jay's I need you on my side. Jay is a defendant. Because well, Jay's a lawyer. He doesn't need a defendant. He's a real lawyer. Yeah. Can we hear him? Turn it up. Full up. Are you on speaker or you're not on speaker? Speaker. We're calling Jay Welch if you're just tuning in. Hello? Yeah, you know who this is. I do. My, my <laughs> mobile device picked your uh, name up. Yeah, well, you know what? Did you hear? Ob objection. All right, you guys got to get closer so Jay can hear you. I got All my right. two lawyers on the line, <clears throat> Brendan oh, and Anthony. Okay. We, uh, I don't know if you know this, Jay, but I was wa you're on the air, by the way. So you, you okay. have to sign. you're okay, on the air. Okay, good to know. Live on the air. Do we have a waiver? Well, Somebody get time. him over a waiver. We got to get him you a waiver. You shouldn't have told him that. Yeah, I shouldn't have told him he's on the air. Yeah. Jay, here's what happened. Well, I was honestly. walking by. I saw you. What's up? A oh. waiver. Yeah, you have to have a sign a waiver because we're going to put you on the air. This oh, is I'm big okay. business, Jay. This podcast, we're doing about uh, 6.7, 8.2 mil down, downloads a week, at least. DL. Estimate. Estimate. We don't check the stats. It's already in my Twitter bio. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Listen, Jay, enough with the chat, chit chat. I saw you on the street and I screamed your name and you gave me the middle finger. And I'm going to allow you to defend yourself. What's the situation there, Jay? Okay, What's well, let me, can I ask you oh, some Bert. questions, Greg? You can ask me any, as many Woo. questions as you like. He's got questions. This guy's a real lawyer, I'm telling you. Lawyer okay. up, Jay. Jay's a lawyer. What was, the, what was the situation in which you saw me on the street? I was walking past the McDonald's. I saw you on a city bike and I screamed, Jay! 
Uh huh. And then you just said fungal to this guy, ignored me. I kept screaming your name, and then you gave me the middle. You fingered me right on the street. You just kept. You fingered me. Okay. That's a viol- Was uh, I looking in your direction at any point? Did you see me looking in your direction? Uh, you were ahead of me, Jay. You were on a city bike. You were ahead of me, but I have a very good voice. Okay. So you were. Uh, I. I could not see you. You would agree that I couldn't see you. Yes, I'd. Ag- God, he's good. I'd agree that you could not see me. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, did you? Were you? Uh, how was your auditory capacity at that point? I got ears, baby. You know I got ears. Were you using them for anything other than hearing street traffic and the noises of the city? I was listening to Jimmy Eat World at the time <laughs> on my headphones. Okay. <laughs> so you do have ears, and you were using them to listen to things that would keep out uh, things that you heard on the sidewalk or pe- that where? someone on a city bike might have said. Yeah, where are my lawyers? Where are my lawyers? Well, you guys should be objecting to all this. He's good. You said you had two of them. <laughs> He's good. He's real good. I want to be on so Jay's far. side. I'm yeah, no, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm your lawyers suck. I yeah, am no, no, being Jay. the stenographer. It's not that I suck, Jay. It's that I'm now... I'm writing leaving, everything down. ...leaving Greg as a client and <laughs> joining your legal team, not that even not even as a lawyer, just as more of a supporter that sits behind you and is proud. But you did I hear me. I appreciate that. I am going to have to perform a conflict. Hold on. on you to be sure you don't conflict out. Jay, <laughs> wait, hang on. Jay, so you would agree that you what you were what you were wearing, what were you wearing? <laughs> oh, I, I this, we both agree that this interaction took place. Okay, uh, Jay. This, we're getting into the particulars. Uh, yeah, well, particularly I'd wearing, like to know a black overcoat, you would be right. He was black over. He was wearing I will uh, confirm. Okay, so he, he was wearing a black confirm? overcoat. Although I will say you, I also wear that all the time. That is my standard uh, traveling in the city in the winter attire, but yeah. Did you not give me the uh, finger, Jay? <laughs> well, so Greg, so client. We're, we're not to that point yet. Client. So, well, not only object. that. Hold on. What kind of object? Hold on. What kind of sure. kangaroo court are we running here, where it's just the two people involved in the in the actual uh, incident just argue with themselves with no? They just ask each other questions. All courts should run like this. <laughs> you stabbed me. No, I didn't. <laughs> Jay is representing himself. You are now representing Jay. All of a sudden. Yeah, Jay, I, I assigned Brendan as judge and Anthony as the prosecution. But then I became the stenographer. But now he's a stenographer. Okay, so Jay, uh, we got to move this along here. You but I let me be let me too. if if I could delve into this. So we've made clear. We've made clear. Hey, we made clear that uh, that Greg. Was because listening to music. Bowling for soup. Was listening. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. had it's Jimmy Eat World. Don't don't. Uh, uh, let the court know it was Jimmy Eat World and not Bowling for Soup. Now at any point. <laughs> okay. At, at any uh, point, did that you? Market, that's on the record. It's on the it record, is, Jay. Because Anthony's acting as stenographer, which, as far <laughs> as I can tell, just uh, <laughs> incorporates making pointing gestures at the ceiling. Uh, but okay, I'm going to throw you in contempt, Greg, Brendan. Can, can you? Can, he's got a question. Can you confirm, well, uh, Jay, for us? Now, did you at any point uh, see Greg and recognize him as one Greg Stone? No, I did not. At any point in this conversation, till later on when he told you, so you never knew Greg was was talking. I never to you. knew it was Greg Stone. J- Jay, were you or were you not wearing your glasses? I was not wearing my glasses. Now, you- do you wear your glasses to read, or do you need them for vision in the city? I've seen this in a movie. This is good. I need them. Uh, if I was driving, I would need them. You were driving a bike, bike, Jay. You were driving a bike, Jay. Sorry, I, got, I was riding I got, okay. a bike. Well, that's good. No, we're both on the same biking. page. That's good. And uh, you would agree that as someone who was biking that I needed to devote uh, my concentration, my visual energies to biking. Uh, excellent point. No. Excellent point. Well, now, hang on. What about <laughs> friendship? What, you were you, just, you need you just to... hitting the importance of me wear, having sharp vision while I was traveling by bike? You Listen, gotta look out for your friends in this world. We gotta, we gotta bring this. We gotta, we gotta come. <laughs> is that why people need to wear glasses? You guys are really happy. Yeah, so you gotta be able to see your friends in this world. <laughs> that's Jay. what. That's, that's why the why only people reason glasses. people have glasses. You ever see a guy with no friends? Never has glasses. He can't find them. Now, question, Jay. So, from your standpoint, what did you observe, and who did you then flick off? Okay, so I was on a bike. And I was not just on a bike. I was on a bike, as Greg, we talked about this a little bit earlier. Uh, you 
Greg may have told you guys I was at, at the intersection of 14th Street and 1st Avenue, which is a yeah. busy intersection, and I was moving. It's very busy. It's yeah. Very busy. Right. Yeah. yeah. And also because of the particular route I was in, I was not in a bike lane, which is legally permitted, uh, but it does make it does make it a little riskier, requiring even more of your concentration. At that point, so I'm on a bike. I'm heading north on First Ave. I hear someone who I don't know who it is say, "Hey, Jay Welch." So you did hear him. You you admit that? Oh yes. Got him. And then I <laughs> replied, "Hi. I can't turn my head because I have to be looking where I'm going right now." Your Honor, I would like uh, one minute of recess to talk to my client about the events that occurred. Sure, sure. Hang on, Jay. No, no recess. We're live. We're going, We're going to recess. We're going to recess. Hang on, Jay. No, there's no recess. Give me a recess. Stop. Give me, tell me say what's going stop, on, Anthony. Brendan. What's going on? Greg, you, did you hear him say hi to you? I, could, I was listening to Jimmy Eat World. I couldn't oh, hear anything. Oh, that's right. That's what he said. I couldn't hear a word anything no, was happening. That's a good point that he made about that. Yeah, he's got a lot of good what, points. Uh, well, I think I can get you off. All right. Well, I'll get you off if you get me off. Okay. All right. You can get your client off. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And if I could paint a visual uh, for our viewers, they're now just jerking each other off. <laughs> that's that's why I come to court. <laughs> it's great because it is a, that is a, it's an audio medium. So yeah. Yeah, J uh, Jay. So I have a question oh, I for you. Say I am probably a lot of your audience is listening to Jimmy World right now. No one. Is. I'll tell you this. <laughs> no, that's, that's unfair. I don't mean it. I apologize. Jimmy eats All right. up our. We'll listeners. strike that from the record. Stenographer, strike his last. Strike his last comment his last from the record. From the record. <laughs> now I have. I'm ready to make a ruling. I am ready to make a ruling. Oh, wait, he didn't get to the finger part. Follow up. Can I? Oh yes. He didn't get no, to the finger know. part. Sorry. He fingered okay, me so all over town. Wait, wait, wait. So I said that. I said, I can't turn my head to look at you right now. I said, hi, whoever it is. I didn't, I'm, not, I'm paraphrasing here, not quoting. But I said, hi, so I can't turn and look at you right now because I'm riding this bike. Okay, then, Jay. Hold on, hold on. So, let him let get me, there. Let me get there. Well, let me finish my story. Let him finish. <laughs> then I heard the same voice say, hey, Jay Welch. Jay Welch on a city bike. <laughs> That's me. Okay, that makes sense. The Which I, uh, and now, late subsequent events have shown is most likely to have been Greg Stone. And, <laughs> yeah. and then I responded again. Yeah. Uh, I can't turn my head and say hi to you. I am riding my bike right now. I can't. I have to focus on that. What about a pullover, Jay? How come there was no one never thought of a pullover? He's going somewhere. Wait, He's in I the middle of traffic. So you had time? I was green light, and I was already moving when you said hi. If I was stopped at an intersection, I would have been happy to remain stopped at an intersection, assuming it didn't disrupt the flow of traffic in some way. But I was not in a position to stop all of a sudden and turn around. I was in midstream, so right. to speak. All right. So then, so I said make... that. I said that two times and loudly. All right. And then, the th then uh, like for a third time, time, I heard, "Hey, Jay Welch." <laughs> And at this point, I honestly thought that it was another comic whose voice is a little similar to yours, and I didn't think it was you. Uh. But I also thought that he was doing a bit. I was doing a bit. A friendship wait, wait, bit. I'm explaining my point Got of view leading up to the incident at issue. Now, if I could say, if I could point I would out, like if, 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 hold on, Anthony, you'll get your Anthony, you'll get your chance to cross examine. But if I can just I confirm for my client, <laughs> not, not cross examination when it's the story. <laughs> well, Anthony's going to be cross, <laughs> Anthony's going to be cross examining you. Listen, listen, Jay. You 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 have your little uh, you have your little ideas about law that you learned in law school. Oh, this and, is not about law school. This is about facts. This and is we about facts right now. and we have our own. But I'm gonna cro uh, first before Anthony crosses MJ, Jay. I'm gonna sum up uh, my client's uh, argument. Who's Jay. Your client? Jay. Uh, well, more. He, I am cross examining so Brendan now. Finished. You're finished. You're finished in this town, Jay. Oh, no, he's not. No, no, no. Closing Listen, argument. He, Greg, he repeatedly, three times, he Law responded to your thing. Stuff. And you're yelling at a guy like a maniac without listening to what he's saying back. I can't listen. I was listening to the Jimmy Eat World. I know, but that's no excuse. That's yes. A, 
that OJ tried that defense. I wasn't on a bike. In my client's defense, in my, defense. my client had a show to do tonight. <laughs> now, if my client is to perform his show adequately, he needs to listen to the music that gets him to a place He's to right. perform in that show. Brendan, or do you not want the people to get the good time they deserve? You're not for the city, you're for yourself. Oh, okay. So now you brought, Lawyer. The, you brought the real cat out of the bag, and Greg, yeah. you're going to be kicking yourself for hiring this guy. Let <laughs> me ask you, and remember, you've been right. sworn. I am you've sworn. been sworn to the truth. What is the date of the show that you were to perform on tonight. Oh, uh, uh, your honor, Hang on. Brendan, your honor, a, I don't know how that question is relevant. It's, it's uh, Greg, the, uh, if you could answer. The, the 20th. fifth, do the fifth. The 20th of what month? Uh, next month. Yes, you showed up to a show that you weren't booked on until last month, meaning, or till next month, meaning you had no necessary need to listen to Jimmy Eat World. The show was not tonight. The case is closed. Order. Watch is innocent. Order, order. <laughs> Order in the courtroom. Order. Go. All right, Jay. What All right, Jay. Closing arguments. They always do closing arguments. Hold on, let Jay talk. Do you want to plug anything? Ah. <laughs> no one. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. It's at Welch J. Welch J. At Welch J. Don't Welch on the J. Welch like the grape juice. Jay, like the blue jay. Great. Uh, no jay Welch, honestly, one shit. of the best guys in comedy in New York. Just the nicest guy, funniest guy. Thank you so much for uh, letting us have some fun and, and telling your story. I'm on your side, Jay. Thank Please. you, you're Brendan. Traitor. All right, later. Dave uh, is bullshit. No, uh, he, no, so too no, many. we don't do closing arguments anymore. In you the had your clothes. Bullshit. Shh. I defended my case. Uh, oh, no, I agree with everyone. <laughs> Let's do our closing arguments. I didn't even get to talk, swept, get to talk in this. You guys defended me. I, I've been drinking it. I'm, I'm sorry. Gross. <laughs> These, I, you made me your lawyer. I got to talk. Yeah, you're right. But then I didn't get to talk, and you didn't even know what happened. You, you were defending a man, and you didn't even man. know the story. Hold on. Well, he get, gave me the story. He did give me the Everyone's going to do closing arguments before I, uh, we're actually contracted to do a little break here. All right. Shh. Drink a Schweppes. Touch a lady's breps. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> up, mm -hmm. uh, ooh, 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 I'm on this plane, I'm a lady. Ah, uh, what's Res that? <sighs> Raspberry lime, not drinking it, is a crime. <laughs> we'll take you to kangaroo court. That's our segment, kangaroo court. We got to do a segment every week called, where we call someone and we get them court adjusted. Uh, well, no, we've still got closing arguments coming up, but hold on for this break. Schweppes, lemon lime, sparkling seltzer water. Sell me your daughter. Uh, <laughs> Anthony, do you have one? Uh, oh, one. I can't Wait, what it. was that noise? I'm trying to get myself to burp. Oh, is this a good burping category? <laughs> yeah, you got to bring it from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Bring it from the bottom now, yeah. Bring it from the bottom now, the whole Schweppes, yeah. <laughs> Drink it from the bottom now, well, yeah. Is this a Schweppes jingle? Yeah. Drake was great on Silent Live. I saw. I didn't see it. I saw a little bit of it. Drake well, was Drake. really funny. Yeah, he's enjoyable as a person. I don't know about his rapping skills. A lot of people don't like him as a rapper. Oh, as a person, I like no, him. his rapping is phenomenal, man. Is he? Oh, yeah, and I didn't want to like Drake just with his background on Degrassi and all that. I feel like he doesn't have the pedigree to be in the game, you know what sure. I mean? Sure. But, boy, that guy, he, he, he's... Whoa, it sounds like you're doing a bubble bong. Bubble bong. Bubble bong. Bubble bong. Bubble bong. Oh, what's that one song? You know that, that major uh, laser song, like bubble butt. What's that song? That's a great song. Look up that major laser laser song if you don't have it already. You got to run to that or something. It's great. I'm telling you guys, I'm breaking free my hip hop. I'm breaking free. I'm going back to my old school, man. Going back to old Jimmy World every day. I listen to them every day. They're the best band ever made, and you guys don't know about that because you listen to music made for savages. I've been listening to a little. You know me, I, I like I like the as a Just as a uh, yeah. Goodbye. I'm gonna breeze by that one. Uh, <laughs> I meant sh you know. I, meant I know what you mean. Yeah, no, sure. I uh, I like uh, when I've been working out lately. I've been doing a little bit of the old Dropkick Murphys. I used to be. Uh, in the, uh, I'm, an I'm an Irishman, so I'm. Right, they sing that song that's in The Departed. Oh yeah, they, they sing all the songs. They use that for every time. Why Boston wouldn't they? Isn't anything. Why wouldn't they? Yeah. Because I why don't us. they use uh, like Paul Revere songs? I'm going to move us Good on point. to our next segment. <laughs> oh, we're not having closing Brennan's arguments? Brennan's quiz. You know goddamn what? Ooh. Ooh, you rankle me right where it hurts. Right where it hurts. Let's do closing arguments. Let's do closing arguments. Yeah, let's arguments. do closing arguments. I'm Jay Welch's side. Uh, I, I believe the defense, the, uh, 
It's on the prosecutor to make his closing arguments first. So, Anthony, go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, (laughs) look at yourselves. Look at the person next to you. Now, look at yourself again. Look at the person next to you. I'm looking. One more time. All right. What do you see? Brendan. You see a man. You see a woman. You see a person. Now, if you are traveling, I understand. You ride. You live in this city. You ride your bike. You want to be safe out there. But I ask you, when you die, (laughs) do you want to die Alone, or do you want to be die surrounded by your loved ones? Uh, somebody has a question on the I jury. have an answer. I want to. I don't oh die. no, he's not on the jury. I don't want to die alone. Ah, I don't want to die alone. He's the uh, litigant. Hey. Oh, okay. Well, if he gets to be stenographer and prosecutor, I get to be defendant and I'd jury. I'd like right. to finish my closing argument. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, an interesting <laughs> turn of events where the closing argument interrupted the lawyer interrupted by his. Fa- We're um, back, we're back, we're back. How long were we out oh, for? Oh, thank God. I'd say 2.2 seconds. Oh, uh, we had an audio outage. We didn't have an audio outage. one of those in a I, while. I took Ye- the plug out with my toes. Well, uh, don't do that, that anymore. Ad- my thing, it's very delicate, that outlet. That outlet is very delicate. I'll try and edit that out, but I won't be able to. Dirk, you can't. There's no need to. No. You can die alone. Can All you, right. Greg, can you uh, let me know what time that was at? Oh, don't put it down. I'm not. That's oh, for the good of the cast. Oh, shit. We're all have a battery power. This thing's blowing through battery here. <laughs> We're at, uh, I don't know, 26 minutes, but it was only like two seconds. All right. Like, they'll, they'll get it. All right. Uh, now continue with the... No, <laughs> not anymore. Well, I had to we know have for the to move thing, on. man. We have to move on. In your the closing courtroom. argument is too long. I am your lawyer. You got me nowhere in that case. You don't help yourself. <laughs> I need a client that helps himself. <laughs> no, you got me nowhere, man. You were on Jay's this side. This is a partnership, buddy. Client, lawyer, partnership agreement. No, I pay you. And I pay you. All right. And that's 50-50, dude. 50-50, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Uh, all right. You got to help me. I'm helping you. All right, but you got to stay away from the equipment as well. <laughs> you are leaning <laughs> on all the equipment. Now, look. Your computer is a $10,000 computer. You have an elbow in it like it's like your macho well, man. if we win this case, I could buy four more of these $10,000. Oh. $10, yeah, a lot of people don't computers. know that. <laughs> Anthony's working with a $10,000 computer. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. All right. Now, my client, Greg. Yep. Yep. You can die alone or you can die surrounded by your loved ones. And I ask you, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, yep. which do you prefer? You're riding along on your city bike. Think about the last relative you had. <laughs> Just, <going>. Just listen <laughs> to me. <laughs> you think about the last relative that you had that died. What was it, your nana? Was it your papa? You sat there by the hospital bed. You kissed My him grandmother. goodbye. Was it your grandmother, sir? Great. Yeah. And you kissed him goodbye, and you said to yourself, I wish I could have just had one more minute with that person, one more little last time with that person. So I ask you. You're riding your bike. You're doing whatever you're doing in your busy New York metropolitan day. And if you saw your grandfather, sir, one more time, you heard his sweet voice say, Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Wait, I'm Greg. Yeah, but for this, (laughs) you are Jay, because Jay was the person. Say, hey, Jay, you heard your grandparents' voice, grandfather's voice. But what did you do? One last time, you could have talked to your grandfather. Gave him a look at your sweet face. Said hello to him. But what did you do instead? You kept on riding. I mean, you got to wrap this up. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, man, no. Yeah, explain a little more. <laughs> got to go a little further. I mean, you could. You, you could. You, you're, this is your last chance. You never know in this crazy world. Greg? Greg, the, the, the waving man. You guys remember Greg? Yep. He... He could be. We got a rap drop set. Right I mean, this now. is going on forever. That could have been the last time you ever saw him. But you, you selfish fuck, <laughs> you just kept driving. All right. And you didn't say hi to him. And closing argument. <laughs> All right. Now I get to Closed. make my counter closing <laughs> argument. Thank you. And that was solid. He is a racist. Also, <laughs> the jury. So whatever he says, just remember, uh, he hates black people. 
Now, I'll give you my closing argument. Sure. Keep it in mind, his theories. Ladies and Racial gentlemen theories. of the jury. Yeah. Standing before me today. God, see, this is one. a classic. I see a whole <laughs> army of my countrymen <laughs> here in defense of tyranny. Uh, this is this is Sam Elliott. You have speech. come to fight as free men, and free men you are. What would you do without freedom? Cut his mic. Will you fight? I, I fight, and you may die. Run, and you'll live at least a while. And dying in your beds many years from now, would you be willing to trade all the days from this day to that for one chance? Just one chance to come back here and tell our enemies All right, wrap that it up, they wrap may it up, take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom. freedom! All right, we're, our battery's gonna die. You know, I really shouldn't have brought up the whole thing about Jay. You guys really got out of hand with what, it. What? That was? Didn't you hear my closing <laughs> speech? I just made that up. <laughs> my, no, you guys I thought I brought up. I thought that was a pretty good closing argument. Um, so let's bring up to their next segment. Mine was just a speech from Braveheart. I, th- I got that Never by the worked. end of it. I didn't know in the middle. Yeah, but I got there. So our next segment, our next hey, segment. Hey, if you're going to wear sunglasses, you got to give us all sunglasses. <laughs> our next segment is my, f- uh, my favorite one. It's called, um, what's our next segment? We had this planned. We're well, a quiz. No, fuck you. You guys know I cool. made a, a huge point of telling both of you I left the quiz at home today, and you've both brought up at two different instances on this podcast. Let's get into the quiz. Can I do my quizzes? I did write one. No. <laughs> this is what we're doing. Greg has an audition coming up. Uh, and he knows he's not as sharp as he needs to be on his British accent, uh, and so I have designed, uh, I have designed a, a, a mm. play acting a sketch. We were going to tell stories about the weekend. Yeah, we were. We'll get there. All right. Uh, I've got a sketch that I've written for the two of you to sharpen uh, Greg's. Uh, These are my shorts, man. Your shorts are. Uh, they don't fit me, so you can have them. Now. Well, uh, thank you. They smell. Here is the. Uh, well, they might. <laughs> Here's the situation. All right. Mm. Uh, Hello. Anthony. Hello. You are uh, yeah. uh, in charge. The, 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 the year is 1792. I don't know what British accent those. You guys got to give me pointers on how right. to do one, though. Now, wow. you're, we're in the island of Tortuga, but okay. you're a British citizen. You're hiring people uh, to staff... Your ship, which your sign says it's an uh, honest, legal job, it's in fact a pirate ship. Greg, you're coming to apply for this job. You're a seasoned sailor. You're a veteran. Uh, Anthony, you've got to try and hire him uh, without sort of uh, giving away that you're in fact hiring pirates. Greg, you're going to ask questions about the job, see what's, see what's in it. All right. I'm British, though. We're both British. Also, I gotta Anthony's get this. whatever he wants to be. You're a British sailor. All right. Yeah. How do you do British? Give me a real quick one, half a sentence on how to do British. I can't do anything. Hello. Hello, governor. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. Do you to date? All right, you talk do to me and I'll respond. Do you want to date? What? You start it up. Start it up. You're the pirate ship man or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you're hiring I'll, sailors. Well, I'm going to do a British voice, too. Yeah, I want to do a British like. voice. Yeah, sure. All right. And maybe, you know, we'll see what happens. I don't even know about this pirate idea. Well, uh, nobody <laughs> knows that I might come in. Hello, it will give you who are you about? Ah, see your day, see your day, as your door, as your door. A bloke from another language, yeah? You got another language going? Yeah, thermonuclear. <laughs> got <laughs> little alien man. I have a so young solo. Okay, no, a little, a little oh, British. Oh. No more British. Oh, more, all right. No more British. Uh, uh, take me, okay, oh, British, British. What's a British person? Give me a, give me a sentence. Give me a word. Uh, hello, governor. Hello. I'd like to hello sail again. on your sailing ship. Hello again. Uh, welcome <laughs> to my house. Wait, I can't oh, do it. Are you a man of a thousand voices? Oh, you sound good. <laughs> yeah. You sound like the guy in Hook Schmidt. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yate, 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 yate. I, that's what I keeps going in my head. The, that's he wasn't British. That's from Star Wars, Return of the Jedi. Remember him? Oi, Her? you'll have to excuse my parrot. He Wait, just makes all these noises. Now, me and my parrot over here, we'd like to sail on your sailing ship. Yeah, well, it will be a <laughs> hundred rubles to sail on the ship. <laughs> Let me have a ship, please. Let me have a ship. I will want to go on your ship, ship, ship. Oi. That's not it. That's me it. knows a lot of songs. You're going to love Wait, him on r- ship. Hello. Yeah, well, your parrot friend has a lot to say. Yeah. 
Hey Parrot, give us another one of them songs. Captain Hook, eh? <laughs> That's the everyone has to kneel to Captain Hook, eh? But then when you kneel to the we'll hook, man. catch your children. We're pirates here, eh? I'm gonna cut, get me with Tinkerbell. I'll shut your head off with my laser gun. Yeah, that's we right. never heard no block of laser gun on this ship before. Yeah, that's oh, right. We're right. bringing you a laser gun. Now, how much is in it for us? Because I've never seen a gag of pirates with a laser gun. Well, I'll give you a free year on the year. i give you a free year on radio, one yeah. Year, one year, one radio, one year. radio, yeah. Give me, <laughs> give me one, one radio, yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'll, I'll take that one, I'll take that one radio, yeah, and I'll raise you to two Gloucesters. Right now, two, two, Clouses, two radio Gloucesters. Oh, he's parrot. Don't offer him two radio years. He's giving us one well, radio now we year. Got now two and radio years. Shit. Yeah, hey, let me tell you something, bloke. You're not, you're not negotiating with me, parrot. I mean, got here with your parrot. Here I got two radio years. All hell hook. All hell hey, hook. Good day, parrot. I eat you for lunch. <laughs> no, ain't nobody going to eat this parrot here for lunch. Charlie. We got now two radio years. <laughs> Charlie, oh my friend, let me ask you a question. Have you ever walked at a planker? Walk at a planker? Your sins will carry forth to the bottom of the ocean, my friend. Are you good? Yeah, you yeah, go sin bottom in the ocean now, yeah, yeah. Oi, 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 let me ask you a question, Governor. Oh, Who God. made you the captain of this pirate well, ship? Well, go that make me the captain of this vessel. Been all years, me married to the sea. <laughs> David Jones's locker, you're all crazy, my friends. We're now good, David Jones's locker. Oh, what's your name? What's your name, Lock Lock? My good name, my name is Fred, Fred, Fred. Oh, Charlie Ho, my friend. My friend. Who oh. tell you hold you? A bok bok. What, would you do bok bok in here? No bok boks? Yeah. A boom bok la. Boom bok la. This is old friend, man. You come to the Seven Seas and you talk to the pirate. Uh, I've got giant dreadlocks and I've killed a man once, twice, three times, a lady. <laughs> what? Are, what was hey, it? it's me. It's me, the Lieutenant Governor. What's this pirate meeting? Where we got a bloke here, pirate, pirate, pirate. We got two, two radio yells in his friend. Oh, his friend. Wait, how are you guys so doing? you're saying you got to? So you're telling me there's a parrot, there's the other bloke who's the captain, and there's two radio years and his friend. Well, okay. we got two radio years, his friend and a parrot. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, carry on. Carry on, carry on, my hey, friend. Hey, that's good. Hey, that's like a, uh, you just did a uh, yes, John Lennon. That's right. Well, uh, you, you, you people, you people are good. going to talk to me. Huh? Yeah. That's <laughs> Russian John ask Lennon. Me, ask me again. Russian, I'll yeah. take it. We'll give it peace of chance. Huh? That's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Ringo is... Oh, I think there's just like all kinds of British. I gotta know? do British tomorrow and I am not I in shape. I can't do, do British. It. Just you were doing good on that British, but how? What do you, whoa, 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 what like you mean he was doing good? He was first of all, he was great at the beginning, but then it was clearly some sort of futuristic robot Jamaican fella. <laughs> yeah, I thought that's like English. I would say that's a perfect <laughs> summary of how English people sound. I just some, can't. Of them, some of them have that light well, well, sort well. of a voice. You know what I mean? How does Sherlock talk when you watch Sherlock? Sherlock's got more of a proper thing. See, I can't yeah. do any. I'll do that. But he's I'll do more that. like uh, uh, Joe Watson. Watson. I'm Joe Notes. Yeah, that's good. I'm Joe Notes. What are you doing? <laughs> you come to my house, I'll give you a can of liquor, show. <laughs> Bagels are on the house. It's easier. Oy vey, oy vey. <laughs> it's easier to do a British accent when you're singing. Like, like oh yeah. For instance, yeah. Just you wait. Henry Higgins, <laughs> just to <laughs> wait. Yeah. British from like You'll be 1600s. sorry, but yeah. your tears will be too late. <laughs> You're like a guy who <laughs> fingered Mary Poppins. You'll be <laughs> broke down in sorrow, oh, and right. there'll be yeah. no that tomorrow. Like yeah, just you wait, dust. Henry Higgins, just you, you wait. Just you wait, boy, the lake, <laughs> Henry Higgins. <laughs> Bagginses. Bagginses. You're all Bagginses. <laughs> Just say things you heard in movies <laughs> yeah. in the same voice. Baggins is your old crazy old you. Well, you come over here and I'll just do battery life cooking. Baby, we, we are running in funny the Funny how? How am I funny? We're going to ride it right into if an I can, hour. If we could let you guys know, we broke or we lost the cord that plugs in our audio recorder, so we're using batteries. But man, this kind of heat, when you bring a podcast with this kind of heat, it's going to drain batteries like a, oh, yeah. like a like a like a 52-year-old flight attendant dildo, you know what I'm saying? Let Vibrator. Yeah, it's going to 17th birthday. 
On your 18th birthday, I'll be there waiting. I'll be there waiting. The day my girlfriend and I break up, I'm going to find a 17-year-old girl, follow her around, (laughs) and on her 18th birthday, the stroke of midnight, I'm going to fucking blast her in the ass. You're going to need... Uh, I mean, the day after, you're going to need an actual lawyer. Jesus Christ. Not First me. of all, can you make very clear you mean you're going to seduce her and she's going to want you to do this? First of all, I mean, what yeah. the fuck? I mean, I'm going to yeah. follow around a 17 year old girl and blast her hey, in the ass. Hey, follow the around a 17 year old girl. <laughs> I'm going to seduce her and I'm going to wait till the stroke of midnight like Cinderella before I give her the thrust of a 33 year old man. Yo, yo. Am I 33? Do you know how old I am? I forgot how old I am. How old are you? 31. Well, how old am I? 32. All right. What's our next segment planned? Okay, so I wrote another sketch. Uh, This sketch was good. Yeah, I think you were kind of nailing it in there uh, a little bit. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Fuck, I can't do British. I'm going to fail this thing tomorrow. Um, But that's even funnier if it's a guy who's supposed to be British who's just bad at it. Yeah, this guy who's bad at his How own you, language. Remember that guy who used to who used to date someone? She had a brother, and he was British. How do he talk? Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, I came Jamie. up with. A, I forgot to tell you guys. Run a segment by you. I'm, I'm I do have another segment if you want. Who are you trying to remember? Ah, uh, uh, British guy. Baklava. No, all right. <laughs> What's our next segment? Let's just move on to the next well, segment. We have I to wanna, move on. I, what I want to do is <laughs> uh, move I got on. a segment called Brendan's jokes that aren't jokes. Yeah, but what about my? I want a prank phone call. Well, then why didn't you say I got a segment? You asked me what's the next segment. I forgot. Make the, uh, you, you should have just said I got a next segment. <laughs> what the fuck well, is this? Well, let's jokes that aren't jokes well, okay, uh, These are jokes that aren't jokes. So, so I run them by them. You guys try and make up the joke for me. These are just notes that I put into my notes to make a joke about later. Never made the joke. Oh. Okay. Uh, it's my chair. So, man, uh, man, it smells already. So I give you guys. <laughs> oh the, man, that went right. Don't the fart end. into a chair, chair, man. That was like intravenous. This room's too up. small, and no, you, it's not up. intravenous. You fart directly forever. into someone's vein. Yeah, that's disgusting. It's, I I'll smell, kill it's killing my own self, and it's my own. Yeah, it's gross. I'm gonna I mean, cry. Well, wait. Before we do this segment, I have a very important segment to do, but we almost forget. <laughs> wait, hang on. Oh, bad. That's bad. What? Well, fuck you. That's bad. Fuck you. Wait. And your fucking segment. We gotta get the weather. Before I forget. I forgot, I forgot our last this name. This podcast is getting too phone heavy. We is need it? to get a phone fucking system. I, uh, no, no phone. No phone. You don't like the phone? I got no phone. What's your so, last name? You know what I'm saying I phone heavy in terms of we're making a lot of phone calls. Uh, that's Katie. true. Katie. What's your last name? Mears. We don't know her. Are you? F- we, we never have given that information <laughs> out. <laughs> no, that's not, it's not after Katie. Greg's last comment. It's not Katie Mears. That's so not her last name. Oh, it is. Yeah, I know it is. <laughs> Oh, now we gotta okay that with her. We'll ask you. We're giving her phone number. Yeah, right? my, no, my we're not giving her phone run number. By her. Christ Almighty! And Anthony, you know she's not gonna be able to hear you. <laughs> she's not gonna be able to. Yes, hear. friend. We'll huh? do this. We'll do this quick in and we'll quick in and quick Just out. Just with the weather. Get in. Get, get in, the get weather. In, we gotta get, get, get out, out of town. Wow. Let me handle this one, guys. Let me handle this one. I got this fucking one. Fucking king in his castle. She better answer the fucking phone. <laughs> she knows we do it. No, we never do it this time. Well, she's fired. Don't let her. Don't let her number hit on the answer machine. Hey, this is Katie. Don't let her uh, it's not a number. It's, she's not saying number. At the tone, please record your message. Your message. When you finish message. recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. What's the fucking weather? <laughs> What's the fucking weather? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Katie, we're so sorry. And listen, I'm not going to edit your last name, but if you listen to this. Uh, if you, because I don't, because you're a public figure on the radio, I don't think you mind. But if you listen to this and you don't, and you want your last name edited out, uh, email me or, or get us at us on Twitter, and I'll do it immediately. No, not too bad. She's oh. our, a big fan. It's called respect. First of all, you shouldn't have yelled at her. There's no, she's <laughs> been nothing but support, and she's a great lady. She's bringing us to that college, and you're yelling at her. Second of all, if she doesn't want her last name on this podcast, she doesn't need to have it on. So I give my last name. You're the fucking host. <laughs> You're the fucking host. She's the weather woman. No, she's not the weather woman. We t- she's a fan who, 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 who we uh, said is the weather woman. Well, I don't know. I think so. You think nothing. All right, let's get to my new segment. Get How many batteries? How many We're batteries can we put in our mouth? Yeah, put as many batteries as you want in your mouth. I don't care. Put up your ass. You think? Oh, get this. I had a zoo. I did a, I did a, 
I did a zoo uh, benefit. A zoo benefit. Here we go with the zoo benefit. What do you mean here we go with the zoo benefit? <laughs> oh, fuck you, man. No, let's hear it. I haven't even told you anything about a zoo I benefit. I know, I know. I just get you wired up. Uh, yeah, I'll get you wired up with a... <laughs> <laughs> batteries are dead. No, we're in. We're well, good. fuck you and prepare it. <laughs> the ba- if the batteries are dead, say they're dead. Don't say they're dead when they're not dead. <laughs> no, they're not No, dead. the batteries are dead. No, they're not. Well, they, then they weren't. They weren't. It's true. Fuck. So tell me about this. You perform it for a bunch of animals? Have, yeah, a bunch of animals like you. <laughs> oh, man, that hurt me. Yeah, a bunch of fucking animals like you. I Zoobly put you, zoo. I gotta put you in the zoo. Because now I got it in there. <laughs> hey, I got something for you to see. A guy that just shits on all your stuff. Put him in the cage with the monkey. A fucking Greg Stone, the guy who shits on your things you have planned. <laughs> well, let me ask you. You would think I wouldn't have a better time with the monkeys? I mean, I love you guys, but monkeys are fun. You ever pet one a monkey? You can't pet them backwards. They'll bite your mouth. They'll bite your fingers right off. I don't know Try if that was supposed one. to be a question or what the <laughs> fuck you just said to me. <laughs> pet this one upstream. This is what you said. This is exactly what you said. I got a question for you guys. You ever think I wouldn't have a better time with the monkeys? I'll pet them. I'll pet them backwards. They'll bite your fucking hand. Ooh. Yeah. That, that's the question. Yeah, I get it. Answer, never, yes. Never pet a monkey upstream. That's true. Let me ask you this. Let's do these, this uh, zoo bit you got going. No bit. I was going to tell you something. But now I look like a, a horse's a ass. Finage. It's a bit. I'm, I'm, I, got, I got heckled at a zoo benefit. I'm doing a goddamn benefit for the tiger. Who the heckled you? Heckled a tiger? Me. Some guy. Uh, some guy's just yelling, and I, I give him a little, you know. I, Here, I, let's do this. You are performing at the zoo. We're the zoo animals, and we're going to heckle you. Do your first bit. What? Hey, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay, see? Okay, well, this is unusual. I'm used to uh, performing for humans, and sir, I don't Ryan. know what kind of animal you are. Ryan? I'm a Ryan. I am a Ryan. I am uh, uh, Ryan. This, man. Ryan the Ryan. I am Ryan the Ryan. Gig, man. King of the you jungle. Jungle. This is a bullshit gig. Where's the rest I of the king crowd? King of the jungle. Now, fuck you animals. You know, it's not like people are coming to here doing stand-up for you every day. Don't say that to me. Who are you? I'm Ronald the Rhinoceros. Hey, Ronald, uh, hey, how about a little respect? Ronald. When was the last time you had any uh, goddamn entertainment in here? Well, an That's alligator high-end. came and brushed my teeth once. That was amazing. Uh, fuck, <laughs> fuck you. He's alive. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, hey, fuck Ryan, you. Go ahead. Take the fucking alligator. Brush your teeth in. They brought in a stand-up comic for you two. A stand-up comic for zoo animals, ah. and you're going to sit here and give me this bullshit? Well, I'm going to take you to court. Take, we take oh, you to court. Good good luck. We take you to court, stand-up comedian. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, good this luck getting me to, good luck get me to court, fellas, because you're locked inside a cage. How you're locked I, inside a zoo cage. Can I pause? I'm going to do a Zach Morris real quick. No, you can't pause. I'm going to do a Zach Morris. Well, you fuck a you, question. Rhino. I'm not the no, Rhino. I'm Greg. Yeah, you are the Rhino because there's Greg. no pause. Rhino has no hand. Yes, and. Yes, and. Yes, and. Yeah, pause. no end. Oh, come on. Yeah, oh, now it's Now anger. you're shitting on my bits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you, what's the pause? How come when Anthony does an accent, it's always racist? I know. He what doesn't mean it, about? though. That's he doesn't mean it like that. I it's know. just voices. I've never heard Every voice you do is a lion. I don't even hear him saying racist things. They just seem very offensive. Well, that's a that's a lion. The lion who you, one of the who you take your fingers and make your eyes real small? I <laughs> was not doing do that. that. I was but not real life doing thing. that. That's what I life. don't have a large catalog of voices. Do you remember when... Uh, who was the... Uh, not Ray Combs. Who was the host of Family Feud that kissed all the ladies? Alex Summers. No, that's... You're thinking of Mark Summers. And I that's know you're double there. About. Yep. The guy Richard Dawson. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so one time I was watching the Family Feud with Richard Dawson. I swear to God, this is true. And was on TV, and uh, Asian Family was on. And you know how when you're thinking about stealing in Family Feud, you like huddle up. Yep. Yeah. So he's over on the other side of the stage, and the other family just gets their third X, and he walks back over to the Asian side, uh, and, and, and they're huddled up, and he goes. Ching chong, ching chong, chong. Okay, wrap it up. No. <laughs> I Whoa. swear to God. No. I swear no. to God. Is it on YouTube? What? Yeah, it's on YouTube. Oh, we gotta look that yeah, up. Yeah, it's amazing. But I mean, that, I guess you could just do that back then. You could do anything. If you, yeah, I mean, come on. <clears throat> Can I do a phone call? No. Please? You do whatever you want. What about the, the Brendan's joke, not oh, joke yeah, segment? Yeah, then yeah, do yeah. the phone. No, call. that joke, that segment was horseshit. No, do, let's you're... do it. No, I wanted to do it, and then we end on the phone call. Hey, we haven't done what? a good fire Brendan up episode in a while. Man, I'm it's fired. Pretty baby. good. It's pretty now, good. Now this is uh, 
This is Brendan's jokes that aren't jokes. These are jokes okay. that make it into my uh, notes as seeds. What are you? What are you pointing at? Are you gonna fucking? Co- are you no, gonna no, no, no. No, I saw you pointing at. You're planning something. <laughs> no, no, you're no. fucking planning something. I see it. No, we hey, still have ten minutes. We have ten minutes. Hey, Brendan. I get worried about battery. Be cool, dude. Yeah, be, be cool. Hey, man. Be cool, dude. Yeah, fuck you. Now. <laughs> All These right. are jokes that aren't jokes. They're things that have made it into my uh, notes right. as a seed of a joke, but have never gotten anywhere. Your guy's job is to make them into jokes for me. All right. That's first great. one. Uh, first one. Don't let Anthony talk. I'll take Fuck two menus. <laughs> I'm starving. I think the idea in my head was it was funny if I told the waiter I was so hungry I needed two menus. Sure. Yep. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> two men- um, oh, instead of the well, food, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, like you I'm just so guy. At the beginning, you're a, me two menus. you're a guy who goes. Oh, I thought. Here's what I thought. You're a guy who is going to a restaurant just to eat menus. You're everybody else is there for the food. You're here for the menu to eat a good menu. So he comes back with a, with a menu, and you go, "No, give me two of those. I'm starving. I'm not. I'm here to just eat your menus." Oh, that's good too. Can I say what that's I thought? What I was thinking. What's what I up? thought was that was your it was your cue to get the waiter to bring you. The secret menu that has the wedding ring in it because you're proposing to your wife today. <laughs> Give me two menus. You know, the secret menu. I got a wing in there. Yeah, and then you're going to open up the one menu and there's a ring inside. Yeah, marry, um, me, marry, me on the, marry me on the Jack Daniels platter. Okay, so those, those are good. Here's a joke that's not a joke. <laughs> this one, ideas. I don't even remember because it was from April 2nd, 2011. The note is just, you ever get a hand job so good you get suspicious? Uh, yes. <laughs> what does that even mean? It doesn't mean anything. It means I've been there. <laughs> yeah, I've been suspicious. Why are you so good? You yeah, must that, have I think a dick. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. You must yeah. have some kind of dick because you, you know how to work it so good. Yep. Uh, you know how to work it. Can I do my bit where I just pretend I'm getting a hand job? You know how to work it so good. Yeah. Please. Please. Stroke it. You guys don't even know what I'm doing. You're both on your I phones. I do know what I, I, you're doing, and you're, I like it. You're doing a little erotica. <laughs> now, <laughs> Ooh, yes. uh, here's a note from April 14th, 2000, 2011. There's more than one way to skin a cat. I learned that the hard way. You skin the cat? I don't know what that means. There's more than one way to skin a cat. I've learned that the hard way. Like you did something else to skin a cat. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? I think in my mind you it did was like, uh, who's skinning cats? Yeah. Can who's I tell you? There is two ways. Oh, I just cut you off again, Anthony. I'm trying to get better. Well, yeah. No. I'm sorry. No, I lost it. Go that ahead. That was my bad. It's okay. You acknowledged it. That's what's important. We're getting there. Yeah. We'll find the problem and we'll get over it. Yeah. They say there's more than one way to skin a cat. One, you cut the head off and you rip the skin from the <laughs> neck. Second way is you cut the tail off and you rip the skin going backwards. <laughs> <coughs> or also you cut through the belly, rip it open, put a little candy inside for the children. Oh, hey, this is amazing. <laughs> Fucking great minds think alike. Yeah. This is from 2011, uh-huh. and I never did anything with 9/11. it. 9-11. Uh, I just wrote down a little note on the train and just forgot about it. Mm-hmm. And now you have a successful bit about it. Oh, I just wrote down... <laughs> The crazies are never talking to themselves about anything good. Yeah. Which is kind of like your bit. Yeah, yeah, As yeah. Great minds think alike. Oh, That's man. funny. I never knew I thought that. Ah, oh, fuck. I should have got there before you. Damn. Uh, <laughs> your bit's different. And your bit's actually a bit, not a sentence. Yeah, but that is what it, yeah, that, I mean, that's the basics yeah. of my bit. 1042, and it is 38 What the degrees fuck outside. are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? Okay. Why are you doing this to me? This is well, a fun segment. Sure I'm having a good time. Why are you segment. whispering the fucking time? I'm just giving everybody a time check in the weather. That's my right. thing. Here, the sunglasses make me feel cool. Whisper stuff. Greg uh, looks like a jackass. Well, I never said anything like that. Like I never would ever say jackass. anything like that. I don't know why you'd say that to me. Uh, okay, here's a Let's note. Let's whisper. Let's always whisper. Uh, from April, also from April Wait, 2011. Brandon, whisper, whisper, whisper. No, man, I mean, what is this? Anthony says my thing's fun, and you're just <laughs> derailing it because you're not <laughs> interested. I didn't you're just taking it down to the ocean. I just have to keep making sure our Hey, you want to make your prank phone call? Good luck with me talking the whole time. Hey, well, I'm not making it now. I'll tell you this though, I'm gonna keep whispering this whole podcast. Well, good. That's that's. I don't know why you're so mad. Well, this is why. <laughs> because Anthony said I was doing something that was fun. I love it. Well, who said I didn't? Why do you it? Like, because most usually when you love something, I'm ending the podcast. Let me see how much. Time <laughs> no, I'm don't end it. it. I love it. Podcast. You I'm don't touch the equipment. I'm just looking. And, oh. 54 minutes. We got six minutes left. I'm loving this bit. Well, so Did was the audience. Skin a cat. So was the part? audience, and then all of a sudden, some guy started whispering about. Th- I did like the skin. The cat skin a cat thing. part was great, but then I decided uh, I got to start whispering. It's my new radio persona. Okay, yeah, but you don't have to whisper. You whisper as part of the conversation, not necessarily just other things. Oh no, I'm while just I'm whispering. talking. 
I was, I'm sorry, but I do have to make sure that the weather is 34 degrees outside, and it is 10.52 on your cl- AM radio. All right, I've got an idea. Can we, maybe oh, we, can we end hard. with one, another improv We're thing? not ending. We have six minutes. You're li- of course you're allowed to have an idea, Anthony. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm, an I've got an, an improv. This is my scene now. All right. Now you're two... If I could just do something to try and make you get on my side, yeah. keep Who's going, side? and I'm going to do something. Okay, when keep the saying, sides happen? No, say what you're going to say. Say, say okay. what your scene is. Okay, my scene. It's about 1042. 1042? It's 30 to 4 degrees. degrees okay, my and scene on your is about and radio. Radio. See, not helpful, right? I loved it. Well, well yeah, yeah, it's not too much. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm we- I feel like I'm wearing a jacket that's on fire right now. That's how angry I am. My scene, okay. Uh, your, yeah, name is, scene. your name is your name is Your name is Your name is Richard Atkinson. Yeah. Your name John is John Oates. I want to be John Oates. You're John Oates and Richard Atkinson. Now, you're two guys, you both fought in the Korean War yeah. together. Okay? So you guys, you guys have you guys killed in front of each other. You've watched people die in front of each other. You guys were at each other's weddings. You guys were at each other's parents' funerals. Yeah. And now you guys are, you know, there was, a, there was a riff in your friendship because you bet on a sports team and you bet on the other team and then you won. And then, you know, that's created a real riff in your friendship. Do but I now you, you guys are trying to mend that riff. And you guys are both, uh, you, know, uh, you know, do whatever voices that you want to do for these guys. But you guys... Uh, you guys have run into each other at the post office, and you're just you're making it happen. All right. All right? Yeah. Well, get on. No, I'm testing voices. voices. Right. Well, that's why I was whispering before. I was turning my mic right. off because I was just trying right. to test All my right. voice. This tension is going to work real well. I'll tell you that right now. This is All how right. we're going we're gonna to have a smooth our relationship over with this bit. Yeah, sure we are. All right, let's start. Uh, mm. Hey, Johnny, if it isn't Johnny. <laughs> Wait, I'm not ready. Jenny, wait, <laughs> I gotta get a good voice. Jenny, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you? Wait, I gotta get a good. I want to end strong. Johnny, you're talking fucking crazy yeah. talk here. Yeah, but I don't know what you mean. <laughs> wait, wait. What? Seriously, Johnny, are you all right, man? What are you talking? You're talking to yourself. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't feel very good. I, uh, you know, I, uh, I work over at the lab. On Thursdays, and I uh, took home a took home a little bit of an illness. <laughs> What's a, what do you think? So funny? You think that's funny? I think it's funny. I uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to. Uh, I was working on an in and out with these rats. But then it turns out I, I got a little sick from one of them. I think they were a little sick. Sickness. Uh, let me I'm tell you, I don't yeah. love this I'm voice. Out, I'm out. You, he's God not, damn he's it, not man. following the scene at all. He's <laughs> not the scene. He's fucking working. You didn't listen lab. to the he scene. Didn't listen to the goddamn he scene. The Where scene. do I work? I got an illness from the rats. <laughs> you know. Well, I was very nervous I, about I, my I, new voice. You did that retarded <laughs> John Claude Van Damme <laughs> voice to open up everything. I got oh, nervous. I wanted to do a new voice. Johnny. All right, take it again. All right. We're, we're Veterans together in veterans. Korea. Oh, we veterans. Old Korea. Richard Atkinson. R- Richard. You're Johnny Oates. Johnny Oates. I'm Richard Atkinson. We're meeting at the post office. We've got a sports bet. We're trying sports to get bet. over the sports bet that tore our friendship. Wedding. All right. Funerals. Okay. You were there. I'll, I'll tell you what, Johnny. Sometimes I don't know if we should have let this whole sports bet thing tear our friendship apart. You got that right, buddy. I don't know why I ever got into it with you. You're my friend, and I'm sorry about it. We went to war together, and I'm your friend. Well, here's the thing. You make bets on sports games, but maybe we shouldn't have wagered sex with your wife. I bet everything. I bet all my money and my car and my wife, and you had sex with my wife. And I don't know why you did that, because I thought that maybe you let that one slide. I didn't think you... I don't know I mean, why I hate myself now. Well, Johnny, if I could say anything... I got a lot of regrets in my life. I regret some of the bogus behavior we exhibited in Korea, like the time we cut that fella's ears off oh. and put them over our own ears in case we could hear double. I remember that. I remember that. I remember we took that little Chinese boy, we strung him up real high, cut him in his hair, cut his ears right off. Double ear, double ear, double ear, double ear, double ear, double ear. Double ear. I hear the echoes. I still hear the echoes in my ears. My ears Don't, my he ears, wasn't my ears, a boy. Ears. He was a grown man, and he was Korean. Well, you could never tell with those with those folks. 
Well, yeah, you can tell it's a different country. You, you, you no need to be racist. What are you talking about, racist? He's a little man. He was a little man. He was a big man. He was a little man. He was a little man. Big man. I don't like Johnny. I don't know about you sometimes. Well, it's because I just got back from the lab and I got this fucking illness with these rats. I was dealing with these rats and now I I think I took home a little illness. (laughs) 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 Took home a little illness. Johnny, now that we repaired this riff in our friendship, let me ask you, what do you got cooking with those rats over there? I have got a way to see into the future, but only rats' futures. So not really helpful yet. A lot of cheese. Yeah, a lot of cheese. What if you were to take that rat future technology? Could you or could you not? <gasps> What's that fucking noise? Uh, asthma. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it. You guys, all right. That you was guys good. Went, all right. That was a great scene. Real quick. That was a great scene. I'm just going to do, can we just do my prank phone call real quick? I'm going to just no, call don't him up. Just gonna, no, I'm going to do my plugs. My plugs? Well, Say your plugs, and then I'm going to do my prank phone call. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm waiting a whole goddamn time to do this. Uh, what do you got? No one ever comes from the podcast. I have, yeah, of course they do. They come all the time. Uh, they do. We're starting to get a ton of listeners. I've had people come out to shows uh, just on plugging oh, the podcast. here we go. Um, I actually have uh, a particular show that would mean a lot to me if podcast listeners come out. Uh, 8 o'clock on January, uh, Thursday, January the 30th. Uh, uh, I'm on a special show at the Creek in the Cave uh, in Long Island City here in New York at 8 o'clock. It would mean a lot to me if I could get some people out for that show. Um, I got some other shows coming up. Uh, I got one on January 30th in Delaware. I appreciate <laughs> if you guys can uh, find one. Me and Mad Dog, uh, Greg and Anthony's roommate, are in Freehold, New Jersey on Valentine's Day. So bring a date. Come out to Freehold, New Jersey. I'll get you some uh, details on that. What about you, Anthony? You got anything you want to plug? I can't believe you guys aren't letting me do my thing. <laughs> I am, uh, I don't know where I am. Uh, Columbia University on the 23rd at 9. Some Greg and I are doing some gig with Mike Vecchione. Tomorrow. That's in Jersey. No, that's Friday night. I don't know where, though. No one knows. So lots of luck with that one. Uh, you guys are the <laughs> and, worst. Uh, you well, know, Fish and I and Shaq, uh, I think will be... No one knows who they are. ...in Canada in March. Somewhere mm. in March. Clear all March and go to Canada. All and right. then your best bet is your best bet. I really would recommend for you guys' careers that you start taking the plugs portion of the show seriously. <laughs> I do it. I put dates and times out there. You guys like mania. All right. I only have like a half a second to do this goddamn thing, so you better relax. Stand. I'm good. No I'm plugs. 27. No, I don't care about plugs. I want to do my prank phone call. I'm going to do my prank phone call. It's a great bit. Hang on. I'm calling him up. New York City. Uh, here, this is going to be a great prank. <laughs>